Robin. This is the beautiful Mary. We are here today to talk about Cold Flex. Um, I work for BSI, which is the manufacturer of the product. And Cold Flex, we get lots of phone calls, lots of emails, and we love hearing from everybody. And recently, we've gotten a few phone calls from people with show horses. And they're concerned about the gel sticking to the leg of their horses before they go in the show ring. So we want to improve our products. So we've come up with this. And I'd like to show you how to use it. And we're going to start inserting it into all the containers. Um, so what I do is I roll it up, kind of like you're putting on some pantyhose. Put it over her hoof. Um, I do find that if you clean the horse's hoof first really good, because if there's manure or anything in there, it's going to stick to this, and now you have a whole new issue. So make sure the inside of the hoof is clean when you put this on. Go ahead and pull it up to where the injury is, or you know, just all the way up. Even if you're just wrapping down here, that's fine. You're just protecting the whole area. And to stop it from sliding from the weight of the cold flex, you may want to try just a little bit of vet tape to hold it in place. Take your wrap. This one's not brand new, it's used. So it does not have the core center. Hi Mary! What are you doing? Take your wrap and we're just gonna, I'm just gonna, she does not have an injury today, fortunately, so I'm just gonna wrap it up um, and seconds if you want it to adhere to itself. Of course, if you're going to leave your horse standing and they're a stomper, um, or definitely if you're going to put them in their paddock or, or out in the pasture or anything like that, you're going to want to vet tape just like this, a small piece right here. Also, you do not ever want to cover cold flex. I've seen people that are telling you to um, put shipping boots over the cold flex. You can't put anything over the product because it's pulling the heat out of the out of the muscle tissue and out of the tendons and it has to evaporate through the product. So if you cover this with anything other than very light gauze such as this, it's not going to work. It stops everything and it actually will behave as a, um, a thermal uh, you know, and, and create heat instead of, of cooling the area. So do not cover the product. Um, the other thing that you can do is take another one of these. We do have people that don't like their wraps to get dirty. That's fine too. Um, if you take another one of these really thin wraps and or just normal sterile gauze that you can get out of any medicine cabinet or whatever um, and wrap that over the wrap, um, that works too. That'll keep it clean if your horse is in the stall from shavings and other things like that. Um, so that's it for today. Um, just make sure it's a real thin cotton gauze and the product can breathe. That's what's most important. And um, if you have any questions, please email or call us. You can go to coldflex.com or also uh, on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash coldflex. And we love to hear from you. And of course, if you like this video, please hit the like button on YouTube. And if you have any questions, post those up and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you.